Uh, I'm Pete, um, and I'm one half of Search Party with uh, Jody. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> we all never know how to introduce ourselves when we have to do this. Jody always thinks I do it badly. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> do. Um, uh, so we're uh, at the start of a new project called Growing Old With You mm -hmm. um, and we've made a commitment to making a performance about age every 10 years for the rest of our lives. The first show um, has been in development this year and we've done lots of work in progresses and the first kind of, I don't know, full version um, was two days ago mm -hmm. at um, the Wickham uh, in between time and it the first performance marks the approach of our 30th birthdays, which is soon. So in 10 years we'll be 20, 39 and then we'll be 49, etc, etc. Okay. Um, I saw in the programme that you worked with a, a dramaturg. Mm. Um, is, is that your, your first time working with a dramaturg? Um, probably in as much depth as we have this time. Okay. We've, we've always worked with, we've had um, like mentors, mentors for like outside eye kind of people. But, um, this is the first time anything we've done has been contextualised theoretically by somebody else. Mm, yeah. which we, but also, we've known him for... T how long have we known each other for? Ten years. So yeah. we've known him for ten years as well. I've so known he, him for longer than I've known you. Yeah, so we knew him before... He knew both of us separately before oh, we knew each other. Yeah. That's really nice that you brought someone into the process yeah. who yeah. knows you both very... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. For the so same amount of time. Yeah. So he feels like very much a real integral part of the piece and he's like in it for the long haul as well. Yeah. And then um, <laughs> on the day of the show, he um, got stuck in snow, like, so he couldn't come. So we, we were really gutted. <laughs> oh. That felt really important to us that he wasn't there. One of the main things we... Well, one of the things we tried to do um, for this first show was to kind of elevate it a little bit to make it feel like it we were, we were like launching the project somehow. So it we felt like, very much like a beginning or something. Yeah, and it was kind of weird to have that beginning like without him. It was mm. kind of weird, like a, almost a bit of a false start, but mm. I and suppose we can look back on that in the future and talk about it. He makes us feel loads better about everything, mm. whereas we have a habit of like... Um, being very negative. Being very negative <laughs> towards <laughs> each other because we're like partners as well. So it's a really difficult to find the right balance of um, collaboration. Perspective as well. Perspective. So just having that other person, having him there, puts it in the right perspective. Mm. Um, something that I personally found, uh, and contradict me if you think this isn't right, but having seen the, the early sort of process of it uh, mm. in Mayfest and then this one, this one felt much more like it was about Jody. Okay. Um, and I don't know if that was, I don't know if that was the introduction of your voice, because it felt like your voice was the thing that moved things forward, and that you had control over when things happened and when they didn't. Um, there's that speech where you, you talk about the birth of your child. Yeah. And um, although you both seem a little sort of stalling in the speeches, it's sort of quite repetitive. You're the one who sort of moves it forward because you have the new aspect on the repetition. If that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's funny, isn't it? Because for a long time, um, it felt we, we, it was quite the opposite. It mm. felt like you know there was this, there was this hole in the piece that I don't know that that Jodie wasn't in it. That she was washing me and salting me, and, mm. um, and that story about how we first met. I suppose like well, it's kind of from a combined perspective. But I told it first this time. So it's interesting that. Mm. Yeah, that we last didn't speech mean, has done that. We didn't mean that to happen at all, actually. We meant, um, I think we meant the opposite to happen. Uh, so when I'm saying the speech, I never quite get to finish it because Pete's already moving on, setting up the next part. Mm. And then when I am um, trying to end the piece with that speech, he's um, starting to clean up the sort for the next show because we always keep the show the sort for the following pieces. Um, so some of that sort has been from the first ever work in progress. So maybe so because I've seen the first one, maybe it just felt more balanced this time, yeah. and that I'm picking that out. Yeah, yeah, yeah maybe. Okay, brilliant. Um, I think the batteries on my recorder are about to run out. Um, so we'll leave it there because that's a nice sort of introduction. To